Hello and thank you for joining our DAS video series. Today's video will be showing you the new improvements to our trigger order feature. Trigger orders are orders designed to be activated contingent upon a primary order being filled or executed. For more information on how trigger orders work, please see our trigger order video. Up until now, traders were only able to place their trigger orders after their primary order was sent to the market. Now with the last build to the DAS trader, you're able to send both orders simultaneously, making it even easier to set up a complete trading strategy all at once. Sending primary and trigger orders simultaneously. To send your primary and trigger orders simultaneously, you must first set your trading montage to the trigger style option. To do this, place your mouse in your trading box and do a right click. Then go to style and select trigger. As you can see, there's a lot more information in your trading box, so you may have to adjust your desktop to fit all the information. Once that's set, you can start filling in the parameters of your order. For our example, I'm going to set up an order to buy a thousand shares of Cisco Long at the market. I'm also going to set up a trigger order to send a stop range order with a stop price of $20 and a target price of $21. By doing this, I will have the comfort of knowing that I will automatically have a stop and target price working once my long position is established. Setting up the orders. First, we'll fill in the parameters of our primary order. Since this will be a market order, I'll leave the price blank. For shares, I will set it to 1000. Then I'll go down to route and select market. The rest of the fields are already set so I can move on to this box here that says trigger order. If you'll be sending a trigger order simultaneously, you must make sure that this box is checked. Unchecking it will prohibit a trigger order from being sent along with your primary order. I'll go ahead and place a check mark here and proceed to the trigger order section. First, I'll make sure that my account is set, which it is, then I'll set my action to sell. Symbol, it's fine with CSCO. Shares, I will set it to POS, which stands for position. This way, I will have a sell order working only for the amount of shares I have in my account, and it will automatically adjust up as a partial fills gets executed. Since my primary order is a market buy, it shouldn't really matter, but for this example, I'm going to set it at position. Price, I will leave blank. So I will fill in my price in the stop section. Route I will set to stop. Stop type I will set to range and fill in my stop and target price. For the low price I'm going to set it to 20 and for the high price I'm going to set it at $21. Now that both my primary and trigger orders are set I'm ready to send the orders by clicking on the buy button. Once that button is clicked, you should see the market order execute simultaneously and establish the long position here in my positions window. At the same time, you should see my range order showing as pending in my open orders window here. Watch closely as I click on the buy button now. Here you can see that my order is successfully registered with my long position established here as well as my pending range order shown here. Thank you for joining our Dash Trader Tips video. We hope you'll find this new trick order feature both useful and profitable. Feel free to join us on our other videos as we go over key features offered in the Dash Trader. Once again, thank you for joining us.